Our story begins after this red line. Three students from the Health Science College, Ghadir, Mashail, and Basma, under the supervision of the senior dental assistant, Wam and Dania, will demonstrate the protocol applied in preparing the operating room for complete mouse rehabilitation under general anesthesia. After hand washing and wearing the surgical gown and gloves will demonstrate the protocol. Before we enter the operating room, we must have an idea about how we are going to organize ourselves inside the room. Our operating room is rectangular in shape. So we are going to use the one side assistant method. This means that on the left side of the patient, we are going to have the portable uh, tables, table one and table two, and the location of the two dental assistant, dental assistant one and dental assistant two. Dental Assistant 2 will work between uh, Table 2 and Table 1. Behind the head of the patient, the location of the surgeon, and on the right side of the patient, the dental machine and the anesthesia machine. We have clean area and the waste located behind the head of the uh, patient. The contaminated item from table 2 to dental assistant 1 and to the tray and to the waste. And when dental assistant 2 working on table 1, the contaminated item either from table 1 to the waste directly or from dental assistant 1 to, to dental assistant 1 to the tray to the waste. So we have clean area and contaminated area. Now they are going to uh, start preparation of table one. Covering the table with a sterile towel and over the sterile towel uh, disposable papers. Light cure and uh, amalgamator and the face shields and the glass inomer cement were prepared and arranged on table one. Metal tray were also prepared and covered with disposable towels. Protective barriers were inserted on all the touchable surface of the equipment, either the amalgamator or the light cure, and double check of the light cure uh, uh, before starting the operation as well as the amalgamator. Preparation of table two, starting uh, by covering uh, the table with a sterile uh, towel. Opening the sterile kits and arrange it on the table. Here the towel clip, the scissors, the extraction forceps, upper remaining root forceps, contouring uh, crown plier, upper molar forceps, uh, 
and the elevators that we need in any operation. Also the container that contains the goose and the cotton pellet are also arranged as well as the uh, cheek retractor and the mouse probe. All the materials that we are going to use it, composites, cements, stainless steel crown, Preparing the hand piece by oiling it, connecting it to the uh, machine. Preparing the two-way syringe and covering it with protective barrier. Filling the feeding water bottle with distilled water. And double check every part the two-way syringe double check it and the hand piece continuing preparation of the operating room lastly we cover the light with protective barrier to be safe in use during the operation also before operation we should prepare the medication paste that we are going to use it in the pulp therapy of the deciduous teeth applying the medication and start mixing until we reach homogeneous uh, mix that facilitate our work during the operation now the mix the medication mix is ready after that we shift to prepare the patient starting by inserting the throat pack and secure the endotracheal tube covering the eyes with gauze and secure it with plaster two layer upper layer and lower layer at the bottom to have complete secure to the eyes inserting the under shoulder and the head ring and starting covering the patient starting from the head covering the head completely except the mouse the mouse only should be appear the other parts should be protected securing the anesthesia tube this is very important point and should be visible in case of disconnection and covering the rest of the body and preparing the tray uh, lastly inserting the cheek retractor and the mouse probe and a second layer of throat pack to have complete seeding to the trachea